Hey guys, it's Christina here from C Online, and I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. My main store being an apparel store selling t-shirts and sweatshirts, but I actually do have a secondary store that I started not long ago selling metal wall art, which actually has been a huge success for me. And I know some people would rather do the metal wall art route instead of apparel because metal wall art does have a better profit margin and it's a lot less saturated. So I wanted to go through a tour of how to do that today. A little disclaimer, I'm not saying that metal wall art is better than t-shirts and sweatshirts and I have my reasons and I'm gonna explain that later. There are upsides and downsides to both. So it is up to you to decide which route you wanna go with your print on demand business. So to get started, you're gonna to wanna to create a tea launch store and also you want to make sure you have your Etsy store already created and your Etsy storefront completed as well. Then you're gonna come into tea launch and then up here, you're just gonna hit stores. You're gonna to get to a thing that says add new store, hit Etsy, and then it's gonna bring up a permission box for you to grant access to your Etsy, and then you're all good. Once you're all connected, back in T-Launch, let's scroll down to the bottom here, and you can find it under wall art, and we are going to go to their die cut metal signs. Once you're in here, you're gonna see a lot more details as to what you can print with these metal signs. You can see the colors, the sizing options that you have, which range from, I believe it's actually 12 inches, up to 36, oh yeah, 12 inches down here, all the way up to 36 inches, either length or width, whichever is the larger side. And then also take in their shipping costs as well for each of these sizing, because for me, I like to factor in shipping costs into my product prices. So I like to kind of add these together. So for the 36 inch, which is 105, plus $35 shipping, I would say this is going to cost me 140 USD. So just keep that in mind. Maybe take a screenshot of this for some reference for when we're actually setting our pricing. You can see here, design requirements are 3,600 pixels by 3,600 pixels. So we're going to want to make sure that we create a file to those specs. So I would come into Canva and I would hit create new design. We're gonna go to custom size and we're gonna create a new Canva size at 3,600 by 3,600 pixels. So now that we are in Canva, we are going to need to create a product so that we can create in metal wall art. So one consideration to keep in mind is that metal wall art is printing all in one flat color. You can't have multiple colors being printed and put together for these. So it needs to be something of just a monotone color. And to do that, I really like to look up silhouettes in Canva because usually those are just a flat black color, which is exactly how your product is going to print. Something to keep in mind as well is with print on demand metal wall art, you cannot be printing really thin lines. Really thin lines in metal are just going to fall off and they're not gonna be stable. And when people are ordering metal, they're expecting a thick metal sturdy product, which I made the mistake when I first started my store and got quite a few bad reviews because I was selling an extremely thin print that was just showing up damaged. People were complaining it was bent because it was just not stable enough to survive. So don't make that same mistake as me. And let's go find a more thicker looking product. Just gonna open this. That's not all connected, so I wouldn't do this one. Something like this looks great. Okay, so we have this here. Another rule, if you are creating your design in Canva, they do have a statement stating that you cannot actually print just one-off elements. You can take a look at my video on Canva licensing to explain this a little bit more, but you will need to put more than just say this bike here. We can add a name, we can add a box, we can add another element to this to make it part of a larger design and that makes it printable for us. So I'm actually gonna add a rectangle around it. I'm gonna add a border. I'm just gonna make the inside see-through and then I'm going to thicken this up and let's make a nice little border here. That looks pretty good to me. 
And then you can also say, if you wanna do a custom order, you can offer a name down here. So let's just put bike dad. Same thing, I'm gonna do a matching thick font just so it looks nice. So you can choose to do something like this if you would like. Looks pretty cool. I'm gonna do it without it though. Completely up to you. This also makes great like store like home entrances where you can put in like their custom home name or you can make um like signs for outdoors that has their numbers on it. This looks pretty good for something like that, but I'm doing inside art. I don't really want a name on it. I want to just print this. What I am going to do is I need to make sure that I save this. Actually, I'm first gonna make it bigger to take up more of the room. I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna download this. I'm gonna make sure it is a PNG file with transparent background because you cannot print your background in metal wall art, otherwise you're just gonna be getting a square. You don't want a square. So let's save that. Coming back into our T-Launch, I'm gonna go down here and we're gonna select image and we're going to bring in that file we just saved. And what it's gonna do is continuity, continuity <laughs> tester is going to make sure that there's no pieces that are not connected to the majority of your product. So say we had added a little circle over here, that would fall off. There's no way to hang it, it's not continuous. So it would highlight this in red and then you can just hit remove attachments or if it's something important to your design, go back into your design and just find a way to connect it to the rest. Ours is pretty good. They've detected that everything is well connected. So we're just gonna hit accept. You can see your product here. Again, preview. And here is where you can choose if you wanna keep on certain colors or sizes. Colors, I sometimes only just do black and copper. Those are my top selling ones. But if you wanna do all of them, you can. If you wanna do one of them, you can. So I usually just like to stick to black, but Again, up to you. And then down to sizing. I like to do the larger sizes. I find the 12 inches, because they're extra small, they're also gonna print thinner. So it was the smaller sizes, usually that I was getting complaints on about this being a little too flimsy. So you can choose to keep them off. They also have lower profit margin. So up to you. But I usually like to do just the larger sizes. And because if people are printing metal wall art, like the 12 inch is not very big. So I just find, I don't know what people are gonna use it for as much. For this one, I'm just gonna offer this in black and I'm going to offer it in the larger sizes. Then let's hit next. Then from here is where we can set all of our prices. You can also do this all in Etsy if you prefer to do it on that end doesn't really matter, but title, I kind of just named this something that I know how to search by. Etsy is where I'll actually create my SEO filled title because there is where it gives me the actual character limits. So I'm just gonna call this bike rectangle. Then I'm going to want to set my sell price so I want to make sure that this covers all my costs. And for me, I like to include shipping costs in my product price on Etsy and then offer free shipping. So I make sure to include that in my cost when I am considering my profit. So for the 18 inch here, it's gonna cost me 31.50 to print, but it is gonna cost me 12.50 to ship. So that's gonna cost me 44 bucks so it's going to eat into my profit a little bit. So maybe I'm going to raise that. I bet 12 bucks, 12 bucks 50, and then you can still see your profit here. And it's great because T-Launch charges what they say. So you'll always know your profit. Just keep in mind, this does not include Etsy fees. So that is something that is going to eat into this profit a little bit. And then also remember this, if you ever offer a sale, that is also going to be eating a lot of this. So factor these in as well. And just keep in mind, if you are going to be putting on sales in the future, maybe raise this even higher. I'm going to do 75, 100. Okay. 
let's do something like that. You can play around with your numbers and actually calculate the profit. I was just taking a quick look and I can't remember the exact prices I price at, but it was around here. So I would recommend just getting a spreadsheet, putting in the sell price plus the shipping cost. And then also keep in mind any Etsy fees that might be associated with this, probably around your 6.5%, which is usually for Etsy. But I'm pretty happy with these. This is gonna give me profit. I'm gonna be very happy when I'm selling these 36 inches because I am making 85 USD profit on these and I could probably go even higher. So we're gonna publish this to Etsy, but before we go into Etsy, I would like to also bring up another option that you have to find some files for your print on demand store and that is Creative Fabrica. Creative Fabrica is pretty much a marketplace for tons of different creative elements that you can use for both metal wall art, any print on demand really. So same thing here, if you would like, you can search up some silhouettes. You can also just look up metal wall art and you're gonna come up with a bunch of files that are already connected, they're already monotone so that you can print them. So you have these little coffee things here, coffee, all these different kind of like different symbols that you can use in your store. I'm just gonna open them. Usually they will let you know what you can use this for. It includes commercial license, so you are allowed to print this. So if you choose to go with any of these, you can just save them. I would also still bring them into Canva and open that 3600 by 3600 file and make sure to save this as the PNG. But this is another great resource if you are doing any metal wall art. All right, give it some time to load in. Sometimes it does take a little bit. If you have waited hours and hours and hours and it is still not showing up, it could be an issue with your shipping. So for some reason, just go on Etsy and then go to your delivery profiles, click on the one T launch created for you. And if you have errors in there, it could be that. So just fix those up. I had that happen to me in the past. And then once I just fixed it, I never had that issue again. And it honestly might not happen to, I think they fixed it since, but just good to know, just in case. You'll know it's showing up when you go into your listings and in your listings, go on over to your drafts. It'll exist in there, not in your live listings right now. And then from here is where we can go edit this. So we're gonna have our pictures. They already create some awesome mockups for us as well, which you can choose to keep in, which is fantastic. But I also like to go create my own, which I'm going to show you how to create your own mockups for your metal wall art in just a moment. Put in your SEO titles, put in your SEO tags and descriptions. And then I like to just keep it in home decor. And then sometimes I will also, actually let's just put this metal wall art. Okay, let's add that actually. Let's change it to wall hangings. And then in craft, this is where I go down and I change this to metal working. So you can just keep that on. Make sure in your about your listing, you are still changing your company or person. You wanna put in T-Launch so that people know you're not actually printing this yourself. But let's go add in some more different mock-up photos so that people know exactly what they are getting. How I do this is I go back into Canva and under elements, I like to look up wall mock-ups. And usually I'll filter by videos, or sorry, photos. And then you can pick one of these. This is really nice. Maybe not a bike related, um, kind of like we did. There's some simpler ones, maybe something like this. And then drag in your PNG file. So already this looks great, but to make it a little bit more realistic, I like to go to edit image, shadows, drop shadow. And then I just hit on the little edit button that comes up. I like to set the offset to like about, not 15, about one or 1 1.5. There you go. I like to lower the transparency and maybe just blur it a little bit more. This way it looks like it's sitting off the wall a little bit, which is usually how metal wall art is hung because it's hung using nails. That holds it off a little bit. So I like to add that drop shadow. I find it just, just makes this look a lot more realistic to use in your Etsy listing. And there you go. Then you can just save this and upload it as your photos for your Etsy listing so that this drives a lot more sales than just offering 
this right here, which is not doing your design any favors. These ones are pretty good. I do like them. I just don't necessarily like that they have this big border to them because I find it makes the picture look fake. Totally up to you. You can still switch these out, adjust the thumbnail a little bit to make it look a little bit more realistic, but still I prefer to create my own using Canva and then using these. So then once you filled out your Etsy listing, there you go. You now have an automated metal wall art listing. So when people make an order, it automatically gets sent to print. Again, metal wall art is a great way to go. If you do enjoy creating these types of designs, I actually really like designing for my t-shirts a lot better, more so than my metal wall art store. Hence the reason I actually don't spend very much time on my metal wall art store, but it still does decently well, especially because I don't need as many sales to make a decent profit. Because like you saw, we could be making up to 83 bucks or even more if we put our prices higher with our metal wall art. The biggest downside I find to metal wall art is one, Within T-Launch, you can only print to USA. So if you are trying to get a metal wall arts order to Canada, it's not going to work. So make sure you're only shipping to USA. Another downside is I'm not very big on T-Launch's customer service. Unlike Printify, they do not have a live chat button. You do have to send them an email. They are decent at responding. It, it'll happen within a day. It's just not instant like I'm used to with Printify. And then the biggest downside is if there is an issue with your order that print or that um, T launch will not refund you for, like say it was a problem with your file, then it is a big chunk of money that you just lost because you have to refund your customer. You can choose not to refund your customer, but you are going to quickly lose sales because they're probably going to leave you a negative review if they have a major issue with their product and you won't refund them. And then if T launch won't refund you, you saw that you could be paying 140 USD to print the 36 inch product. And if you have to refund that, you don't just lose the 83 bucks of profit. You have now lost 140 bucks out of your pocket because of this order. So that is my biggest disclaimer. I still am profitable in my store. Again, I made a lot of issues when I first started my metal wall art store because I was printing like tiny, tiny um, files, like way thinner than this. And I, I just didn't really think about how that would hold up with metal wall art. So don't make the same mistake. Try to stick with really thick designs. And in the end, if you start making sales, refunds don't happen very often. It's going to suck when you do have to refund, but you're probably still gonna be more profitable in the long run if you do offer people refunds so that you can keep your high stars. All right, that's all I have for you guys for Metal Wall Art and Tea Launch. If you have any questions, let me know below. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you guys.